When women around the world are speaking up against gender discrimination and are fighting for their rights, the new young president of Turkmenistan has other plans to crack down on women more than before. So let's take a brief look at this. Serdar Berdi Mohamedov has recently become president of Turkmenistan in a strange controversial election. On March 15th, Turkmenistan's Central Election Commission announced Serdar Berdi Mohamedov, the son of former president Gurbanguly Berdi Mohamedov, as the victor in the last election. He officially took 73% of the vote. This is why no Turkmen election has been judged as free and fair by international observers, except for observers like those from the CIS countries. It's not still obvious why Gurbanguly Berdi Mohamedov, Serdar's father, called for an early election. It is said that he is ill and also afraid of mass protests like that of neighboring Kazakhstan, though he has put his son on the throne after years of totalitarianism in Turkmenistan. After Sapar Murad Niyazov, former president of Turkmenistan, who clearly thought highly of himself, many thought that the strange bands will come to an end in this country, but it seems that just strange people become president there. Let's see some of the strange restrictions in this country. For example, men under age of 70 are not allowed to have beard. Dogs are banned from the capital city Ashgabat and smoking in public is strictly not allowed. It's hard to find cigarettes in this country. Video games are banned and even black or dirty cars are not allowed in the capital city. Many hope that the young Serdar would change these rules, but it seems that he is eager to introduce new strange bans for himself. In less than a month after his election, now he's starting to oppress women more than before. Beauty services and salons are being closed. Women should not wear tight dresses and also can't be out of home after 8 o'clock p.m. Women should not be alone with strangers and cannot color their hairs. So Serdar is seriously sticking to the heritage of his predecessors. He has promised to make a prosperous country for the Turkmen's. But is this the way to do that? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and write down your opinion in the comments.